This is exactly why golfers don't hit driver as far as they should. Welcome to a brand new video. I'm gonna show you how you can increase your driver distance with just three simple steps. Now, don't forget that this channel is powered by you, the viewers, so leave your comment down below. I'm here to help you play your best golf. First things first, loft on your driver. Now, this is an absolute fact for you. We have this thing of wanting to use a lower lofted driver because we feel that's gonna make us hit it further. Now, that is completely wrong. This is something that you can simply do. Most drivers these days are adjustable. So if you're a golfer who has a slower swing speed, like say under 80 miles an hour, you will 100% benefit, 100% benefit from around a 10 and a half, 11, even 11 and a half degree driver. So go and test this at the driving range. If you're a slower swing player, a senior golfer potentially, loft your driver up. This is simply gonna help you launch it higher and keep the ball in the air. Let me explain this. So simply, let's think about it like this. The slower you swing the golf club, the more of a higher launch that you need and loft to create spin and keep the ball in the air. The faster you swing it, the more spin naturally you will create, which is why you need a lower lofted driver. So simply, if you're a slower swing player, in general terms, loft the driver up. Because, let's have a look at this, right? I've actually lofted my driver up to 10 and a half degrees to give me a little bit more forgiveness and also help me get that carry a little bit further. So here we go. at the launch on that into the black sky that looks like an evening but we're actually here this morning so simply first tip loft it up if you're a slow swing player this is extremely important a lot of us think of driver setup just by looking at us this way i want you to think about it from both angles not complicated right come with me you don't need this string just it'll make sense in a second from that face on perspective what I like to have that look of is my right shoulder as a right-handed player being a little bit lower. All that's going to do is just help me launch that ball up, again, giving me more distance. Why you don't get distance is because you're like this, hitting it down. We need to hit up. So just do that through setup. So face on, right shoulder below left. And as you go down the line, have a look at this string. This is just a brilliant reminder here. Not popping out this shoulder, it's gonna cause us to glance across the ball, but I want you to pop that shoulder in where now you can see my arms are level and both touching this piece of string. Now simply, if I just move my arms like this, look what arc this is creating. A little bit more of an into out, a bit more of a powerful arc where I can really strike the golf ball. Whereas if I pop it out, what arc does this now look like? That weak one, all of us are trying to avoid. So simply just feel you pop that right shoulder in, a little bit of a trick there to really help you hit from the inside. Again, one of the big reasons why you've not got distance. Now we're gonna talk about the third point of whipping that club round to this position. I know it's gonna be new for a lot of you, but you'll really feel like you've got an arc to your golf swing. Also, January, all the top brands have brought out their new drivers. Have you got your eyes on any of them? Get down in those comments. Okay, so if you stay exactly there, I'm gonna just put one hand on this golf club. Bit of a oh, bingo moment here. If I went like this, one-handed, look where my right hand finishes, okay? Just take note of that. Now, most of us swing the golf club and finish without knowing a little bit like this. So if we get both pictures, we'll do two still images here of what I don't wanna see and what I do wanna see, there is a massive difference. So what I want you to concentrate on is creating almost a whip round follow through here where you release that club like this. So I'm just gonna do this really slowly now and just have a look at my left arm, have a look at my right arm and my wrists, how they work over and what that does to the club face. Watch this now. Through, down, released, that finish. This is what I want you to practice 
And I would definitely say, do it first at that slow speed. One massive point here that I found from a comment from Quattro, this one, about hitting shots with your feet together, why do we all strike it so well and hit it so much better? Now, the simple answer to this is, we're all balanced. And also, this ties into our video here, the third point, feet together, look where I finish on that follow through. The exact same position, so that's why. Thanks for watching.